much of our landscape planting is put in as a xeriscape planting, which means very little water use, but sometimes the trees benefit from some, some extra water. This is a buried line uh, that we just put uh, barely underneath the mulch, and it has inline emitters, and here's where we've got a hole coming out, and every foot there is a hole already in the line, and you can buy these at your garden centers or hardware stores. Now on this tree, we've got one that's about six inches in diameter, so it's set about three feet out from the trunk. If it's a younger tree, we'd have it closer to the trunk, maybe a foot and a half away, and as the trees get larger, you can uh, dig them and, and set them out further. This way, we're only watering really during drought stress times of the summer. If you're wanting to install drip irrigation, this is something you don't need to call the plumber, you don't need to hire the gardener. This is something anyone can do with some basic tools. Just a pair of hand pruners and it's going to work great. Let's take a look here and how to do this if this were a small tree, say one just uh, recently planted. I'm going to take this line, wrap it around there so it's going to be about a foot and a half from the tree all the way around. Snip that. When you buy it, you'll want to buy the splicing supplies that come with it also. This is a T. Now I'm imagining I've got a, a line coming up to it buried from underground and we will go ahead and attach this on there and then where it comes off the main line that just hooks up to your hydrant, you turn it on, you've got water. This would be buried underneath there, but it's very handy, easy way of watering. Turn it on about uh, four or five hours once a week during really drought, droughty weather. If it's raining, leave them alone. If they're showing a little stress, give them some extra water. It's the water-wise way of maintaining young trees. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.